Mackenzie, I want to start by saying thank you. Thank you for everything you've ever done for me and that all you do for our small family. You make life so easy to live and all the things you do for me and Bentley will never not be appreciated. Your willingness to be such a sweet and reliable person is someone that I strive to be and you have made me such a better person. I have no idea what I'd do and how empty my life would be without you. You are my greatest accomplishment to date. I would be a shell of a man if I never found you. I want to start off by saying that you are my lover for life. No matter any circumstances, I will be there for you through thick and thin. I am so proud to be your husband. Every day I wake up and thank God for you for choosing you to be my wife. I vow to be the best husband I could possibly be. I know that I vow to be the best father whenever we decide to have children. Besides being your husband, being the father to our children will be the greatest accomplishment in my life. I promise that we will work together and make conscious decisions together for the betterment of our children. I know that these are only supposed to be vows, but I wanted to add a little list of the reasons why I love you more than this world. Number one, I love your selflessness. Every, you give everyone your best whenever you can. You are my internal reasoning and peace. Without you, I would have made multiple bad decisions, ending friendships or causing rifts within my family. Yes. And then to conclude my love, I just want to say that I cannot wait to live life with you for eternity. I know that things happen for a reason, and I truly believe that this is my calling, being the person you call your husband. I love you so much, and the reasons above are a fraction of the reasons why I love you. I love you more than this world, your husband. To all the family and friends of Kenzie and Nick, I welcome you here to share with them their joy as they pledge the vows which will unite them in marriage. Let's all join in our love and support of Kenzie and Nick with our best wishes for their everlasting happiness. Kenzie and Nick, real love is something beyond the warmth and glow, the excitement and romance of being deeply in love. It is caring as much about the welfare and happiness of your marriage partner as about your own. But real love is not total absorption in each other. It is looking outward in the same direction together. Love makes burdens lighter because you divide them. It makes joy more intense because you share them. It makes you stronger so that you can reach out and become involved in life in ways that you dared not risk alone. May these rings always remain a symbol of the covenant that you now make, and may your love be as endless as the circle in which these rings are formed. Nick, would you take her ring? I, Nick, take you, Kenzie. I, Kenzie, take you, Nick. Just as you are. Above all others. To share my life. I give you this ring. As a symbol of our everlasting love. Of our everlasting love. Beautiful. By virtue of the authority given to me by the state of Pennsylvania and in conformity with the law, I pronounce that you are now husband and wife. And you may kiss your bride. Take me to the top. <laughs> I've only got one try Said I had a dream last night Looking in the people's eyes Suddenly the crowd was rising in my soul And it's feeling nice Big things come and go But the big old things they go Two, three And I'm sleeping all night I'd like to thank you guys all for coming out today to celebrate Kenzie and Nick. As most of you know, I'm Kenzie's sister, Kayla. Even though I'm the older sister, Kenzie has always <laughs> been a role model to me because she's literally the sweetest person ever. Nick, I've seen you handle the sassy side of Ken's like a champ, and I hope the sweet side always outweighs the sassy side. Just remember, when it doesn't, a little, little things like yes, dear, chocolate milk, and Starbucks will go a long way with Ken's. We're not hard to please. <laughs> Thank you for treating Kenzie like a queen and loving her like you do. With Kenzie and Nick started talking, I remember FaceTime debriefs and the car rides home. Nick, I think you were the first one of Kenzie's boyfriends I didn't hate. <laughs> Kenzie has always been one of the most independent people I've known. With you, I hope she learns that she doesn't need to do everything on her own. You guys bring out the best in each other. You both work so hard and deserve the world. 
Nick, thank you for being Kenzie's shopping partner, Starbucks lover, and now lifelong best friend and husband. If you haven't noticed the cute dog in front of you guys on your cups, let me introduce you to Bentley. This was the dog that they were just going to look at. Kenzie didn't want a dog. She didn't want the responsibility of a dog. Three hours later, I get a text. Meet Bentley. Nick won that battle, <laughs> and the rest is history. He's here at the wedding on these adorable little cups. Kenzie and I were lucky enough to go through the transition of a good relationship together. My now husband and I came into each other's lives around the same time Nick came back into Kenzie's. Needless to say, Kenzie and I always had something to talk about. I won't lie, I definitely wasn't Nick's number one fan when he first started coming around. But after countless Target trips, Mexican food nights, and the constant encouragement to spend money, I think I can definitely say that Nick makes a great third wheel. But in all seriousness, I'm so grateful that Nick came into your life again even after high school. I see how happy you guys make each other and how compatible you both are. You guys make the perfect pair. My biggest piece of advice, because I think I know a whole lot after being married a year, um, is to just be each other's best friend and never lose sight that your marriage is always going to come first no matter what. I do remember whenever Nick first started to talk about Kenzie, um, and you could tell that there was something different there. It was a genuine tone in his voice, his face would light up, he would smile. Um, you could just tell that there was something different and this wasn't just like a, a regular relationship. So I am truly so happy for the two of you. I'd just like to thank Kenzie for being so genuinely special and making Nick so happy. And Nick, also for you, I just want to thank you for being one of my best friends and being by my side through everything. So I really appreciate you. I'm wishing you both a happy marriage full of love, compromise, and compassion. I love you both, and congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Hall. I mean, Kavala. <laughs> I love you guys both endlessly, and I'm so grateful to have you in my life. Cheers to the Mr. and Mrs. Kubala. And then I just, everybody, if you could raise your glass for a toast here. So here's to the happy couple. May your love always continue to grow and never forget where it started in the first place. Anywhere 